Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you high-end screen retouching in the shortest time possible and we are going to be retouching this image so you can see the before and after for this very image and we're going to be using frequency separation to do the screen retouching so without further ado let's get started and if at all you learn a thing or two from this tutorial make a point that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because this to help the channel grow in the long run. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete uh, the retouched image and we just look at the image. So this is the image that we want to retouch in this case. So the very first thing we have to do and we ha want to handle in this case is first of all, removing the blemishes or skin imperfections. So we're just going to create a duplicate from the background by pressing Ctrl or Command J on the keyboard. And that is going to create a copy from the background layer and we just want to get the patch tool because this is going to be a very faster way to remove or clean up the blemishes so after getting the patch tool make sure it is in new selection mode and the source is also selected right here so with this done we are going to zoom into the image and try cleaning up this so how the patch tool basically works we simply left click and draw over the blemish and drag that blemish to a clean area and it's going to be replaced by that clean area so that is how the patch tool works so basically you draw around or you make a selection around the blemish and you drag it and replace it with an area that is closer that looks cleaner and that blemish is going to be replaced so that is how you can use the patch tool to clean up or remove blemishes from your photos using uh, photoshop so let's just clean up or remove these blemishes from this very image and you can see it really does a pretty nice and decent job copying and replacing and patching over those blemishes that is why it is known as the patch tool so I'm just going to be forwarding this process because I don't want the tutorial to be a long one and I'll see you shortly after I'm done cleaning up or removing these blemishes from this image Hello, welcome back and now you can see I'm done removing most of the blemishes in the image and the next thing is going to be retouching. So I'm going to be using frequency separation to retouch this very image. And what you have to understand about frequency separation, it is a skin retouching technique that is going to divide the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. So when you combine both layers at the end of it all, we have to remain or come back to the original image that we had. So I'm just going to create another layer on top of the cleaned up layer by pressing ctrl or command j so that we have two layers right here and how to do this you can now rename this into low and we're going to name this into high so the low frequency layer contains the colors and the high frequency layer contains the textures so you're going to come and select the low frequency layer and deactivate the high frequency layer then come to filter and come to blind come to gaussian blur right here and what you want to do want to remain with only the colors in the low frequency layer so start taking up the radius up to the point when the textures are just starting to disappear from the image so i'm just going to take this up and stop at the point when the textures are just starting to get lost from the image and simply click on ok so you can see that the image is going to be a little bit blurry because this layer is meant to only contain only the colors so after doing this select the high frequency and now activate it and for this layer we only want to remain with the textures which is the opposite of this so just come to image then we come to apply image so when you come to apply image basically come and we select the low frequency layer because we want to extract the textures from the low frequency layer and the channel has to be rgb and the blend mode for this image since this is an 8-bit image has to be subtract make sure you select subtract uh opacity 100 percent preserve transparency and mask can check the scale is 20 offset 128 
and make sure invert is not turned on and simply click on ok so you can see that this layer only contains the textures and they are on a gray kind of layer so just want to get back the image it was meant to be so come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it to linear light and you get back the image it was meant to be so one put this two in a group by pressing ctrl command g on the keyboard and this is going to be our frequency separation group so after doing this open up the frequency separation group and we select the low frequency layer the reason for this is because while we are retouching remember we already cleaned up the blemishes that are part of textures so for any remaining blemishes we can always select the high frequency layer or texture layer and remove the blemishes but since we want to create uniformity within the skin tone transitions and we end up with a nicely retouched image we select the low frequency layer and what i tend to do after doing that i select the mixer brush tool so come under the brushes and get your mixer brush tool and with this done make sure the hardness is at zero percent and make sure clean brush is selected and this option which says clean the brush after each and every stroke has also been selected the weight is going to be nine percent the load of 75 the mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent and make sure sample oils is not ticked or checked in this case because when you check this option it means that the brush is also going to be sampling the textures and painting them in the low frequency layer which we don't want so what we want to do we're just going to start blending the transitions within the skin and create a nice and uniform skin tone transition so if i told you mr brush tool is showing a plus icon simply click on the caps lock key on the keyboard then if at all you want to increase or decrease on the size of the mr brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard and those are going to reduce or increase on the size of the mr brush tool so in order to zoom in and zoom out as you're retouching simply use command plus on the keyboard or control plus and control minus is going to zoom out so we want to retouch the image so in order to retouch this very image we're just going to simply with the mr brush tool selected turn off the texture layer because we want to look at the colors as we're trying to work on the image and how this works we mix colors that are looking alike in the image and making sure that they blend well from one color to another so how to use the mr brush tool make sure it is relatively smaller or the same size as the, area, as the area you're trying to work on and simply left click and hold down and simply start moving the mr brush tool and one trick for using the mr brush tool for better or finer results is always retouch at a distance because when you retouch at a distance you can see the effect in real time and you can see every area that has inconsistent skin tone transitions in your image so you can see that this is really working good but as we're using this technique remember we turned off the texture layer for this image so the image may tend to look plastic because it doesn't contain textures because the texture layer has been deactivated or hidden in this case so and the trick about this or the good thing about this the more plastic the image is looking as you're touching it using this technique the better it is because when you turn on the texture layer it brings back the details back into the image so just come and hide that and you can come and continue creating that harmony and harmonizing the transitions within the skin tones or the tonal variations within the image so i'm just going to come and mix those areas and this is really a nice and effective way to do your skin retouching and it is very very nice and faster and you get better results within a short period of time so you're just going to be retouching these areas and creating that nice beautiful harmony within the skin tone transitions and you can see that this is really looking great it looks better because we are now working with colors that are part of uh, the low frequency layer or skin tones that are part of uh, the low frequency layer so reduce on the size and come to the nose area and also blend these areas and like i said you have to keep on playing around with different sizes of the mr brush tool and you can now zoom in and if at all you want to work on a smaller area you can zoom in and you work when the image is slightly zoomed in because sometimes we want to retouch a smaller area and we can't access it from a distance so i just going to come and work on this other area come right here and also 
explained those transitions in those areas. So come and see the progress by turning on the texture layer and you can see that uh, by clicking this on and off you can see that what we have is really better and we still retain the original textures within the image. So just come and turn this off and you can come and work on every area that has skin. Remember skin retouching is basically more about retouching every area that has or that contains skin within the image. And you can see that this is really a better and faster way to retouch your images in Photoshop. So you can see that we have perfected this within a short period of time and always have to retouch and deliver nice looking images to your clients. So right now I'm done retouching the skin for this very model and after using our mixer brush tool so basically what i tend to do i simply come and turn back the texture layer on and you can see the before and after before after if i told them to zoom into the image you can see that the textures are still intact within this very image so after i've used the mixer brush tool i tend to incorporate another technique that is using the lasso tool for the areas that i may have missed out when i was using uh, the mixer brush tool to retouch so i simply get the lasso tool with the low frequency layer selected still and it is in new selection mode and I make sure that the feathering is 22 pixels and until alias is selected and what I tend to do I come and start drawing shapes onto the skin area just like that and I come back to filter blur and I come to Gaussian blur so I simply take up the radius up to a point when I feel like the textures are really looking nice and great so at around 21 that is when I get a better texture. But the trick that you can use for this is simply multiplying the radius that you had for your frequency separation, multiply it by three and type in that value. So seven by three is 21. So I'll just type in 21 and that gives me a better skin texture. So this tends to help me perfect and refine the areas that I may have missed out when I was using the Mr. Brush tool. So it is more of a refining technique for the images in Photoshop. So right click and come to Gaussian Blur and deselect by clicking away from the selection. So that is how to do this. And if at all you feel like it is too much on the selection, so right click on the selection and come to Fade Gaussian Blur and simply reduce the effect in that area. So I leave everything at 100% and come to other areas and make selections just like that and right click and come to Gaussian Blur. So basically this is what I do or this is how to retouch images using frequency separation within Photoshop. And if at all you have found the video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.